Let's make some pot pie pockets. Start off with one stick of butter and a pan. Now a follower asked me to make this and I cannot for the life of me find his comment. So I hope he sees this. Forget the Tonys y'all. Once your butter's melted, you're gonna add half of a white or yellow onion chopped. We're gonna cook these until they're just starting to get soft. Um, normally like three or four minutes, but y'all I have a poll on the screen. Um, as some of y'all might know, I'm trying to do a cookbook. I had a Zoom call with a company today and the guy asked me to do a poll. And at first I was like, um, sir, I'm not getting on a poll. I'm too old and too out of shape. But turns out he just wanted me to ask y'all if you would buy my cookbook. Now that your onions are soft, you're gonna take about a third of a cup of flour and sprinkle it all over. This is what's known as a blonde roux. So we're gonna cook this for two or three minutes. We're gonna make sure you keep it moving so you don't burn it. Add you uh, 32 ounces of chicken broth, which is this whole thing. One cup of milk. About a teaspoon of the chicken better than bouillon, about that much. I'm gonna season with some Tony's, cause y'all know I love me some Tony's. And some black pepper. Mix all that in really well, and then you're gonna bring it to a boil. As it starts to heat up, it's gonna start to thicken. This has started to thicken up really good, so I'm gonna add a 12 ounce bag of mixed vegetables. These are frozen, I didn't thaw them out. Y'all can be as fancy as you like, but I just got a rotisserie chicken from Walmart, deboned it, and now that's gonna go in there. I'm gonna let this go for about five minutes until the vegetables are a little bit cooked and it gets a little bit thicker. All right, here's our mixture, y'all. I let it rest probably about 15 minutes so it kind of cool off and thicken up. Now we're gonna put it inside of our crescent sheets. A little bit of flour on the surface you're gonna be using. And remember y'all, if these don't open, just tap them on the counter. Each can will make four, you want two of these and you're gonna pinch your seams together. And I kind of flatten them out a little bit. Spoon your mixture on one side, leave a little bit around the edges, that's where you're gonna uh, fork it together. And then just fold it over. If your seams come apart, that's okay, don't worry about it. And just go all the way around the edge and poke it together. If some starts to come out the edges, y'all don't worry about it, it'll be okay, I promise. Trust the process. All right, I got all these on a cookie sheet. Make sure that you spray it, they will stick. And now I'm gonna do an egg wash on all these. 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes, keep an eye on them. Here they are, directly out of the oven. They look delicious and smell delicious. Let me show you what we're serving it with. I'm serving the pot pie pockets with a Caesar salad and a dump cake cobbler, which I have this recipe posted over on my Instagram. Okay, give us a minute, and me and Bubba are gonna do a taste test. Here we go. Oh, wow, good. It's amazing. All right, guys, thanks for coming to my fake cooking show. Bye. <laughs>